Hey, what's happening? This is Rich Osweiler coming to you for PremierGuitar.com. I'm at the 2016 NAMM show in Anaheim, California, and I'm here at the Marshall booth with, with Mr. Nick Bocott. Nick, how's it going? Good, man. Just so you know, you're at the Marshall booth, just in case you're confused by what's behind us. This is the In Marshall case booth. you couldn't yeah. tell. Yeah, yeah. So I think we're talking about a couple new amps uh, this yeah. time around. Yeah. Why don't I, and I think we're going to start right behind us. Yeah. We have two new products offerings this year. We have the Code Series, which is this fine beast behind me. Four amps, actually three combos, a head and a, and a cabinet, and we have a mini Jubilee, but we'll start with the Code. Right on. Because this is the buzz of the show. This is it's what, there are four products in the line. There's the 25 watt one by 10 combo. There's the bigger 50 watt one by 12. Okay. There's a 100 watt head. There's a four by 12 matching cabinet for that head. And then there's a 2x12 100 watt cabinet. Okay. First thing I want to point out, might, you'll notice there's no screws. Everything's recessed, so I can't catch this on my pants. Oh, right on. The knobs are recessed, so I can't cag them by accident. This is a our first entry into the modeling, affordable modeling amp thing. But this separates us from other amps in several aspects, and I'll explain them briefly. First off, every one of these amps has a screen. A, a small one on the 25, a much bigger one on the 50, and we'll see that later. Okay. They all come with 100 presets, all of which are overwritable by the user. Okay. And then, the way it's laid out, it's laid out exactly like a, a guitar amp. If you're a guitar player, you plug your guitar in probably into some, to, into some uh, pedals, then you go into the amp. The amp normally consists of two or three components. If it's a head, it's a preamp and a power amp. If it's a combo, it's a preamp, a power amp, and then a speaker. And if it's a head, you're running into a cabinet. So we've modeled all of those aspects. So we have preamp models and cabinet models and power amp models. And most modern amps have an effects loop where you put modulation and time-based effects as well. We've also got that here. So the, the front panel, which you'll see later, you get your choice of pedals. So you've got various distortions, a compressor with parameters you can edit, a pitch shifter, and an auto wah. Then we go into the preamp section. There are 15 models in there, including a great acoustic emulation. Nine of the models are Marshall. We go from Plexi and JTM 45 through JCM 800, through the Silver Jubilee, through a clean and dirty DSL and a clean and dirty JVM. We pay tribute to some amps we think are wonderful. A British amp that was class A, that let's just say a hard day something was recorded with it. Um, a great black-faced American amp, one of the classics. We've got a clean and a crunch from that wonderful beast. Okay. And this is armor-plated monster also made in America that a lot of metal bands use. We've got that in there as well. So we've got those. There's a professional noise gate built in there as well. So you can crawl the high gain stuff. So you can run distortion into a high gain amp on 10 and still have it under control. Then we've got a bank of modulations in the effects loop area. Your usual suspects, chorus, flange, phase, tremolo, vibrato, all with parameters. Then we've got various delays with a time of up to four seconds, which is quite long. Yeah, yeah. Then we've got the, your various reverbs, obviously, once again with parameters, but room, hall, stadium. Then we go into the power amp stage, you've got four power amps to choose from. The classic Marshall 100 watt, which is the L34s. Then we've got the, the classic Marshall 30 watt, which was what we, what we started with, with the, with the JTM 45 and the Blues Breaker. That's 50 or 81 tubes with a rectifier tube, so that's once again a different flavor. Then we've got that British Class A legend with, with EL84s. Then we've got an American AB, which is 6L6s. So you've got four very different flavors. And then we've got eight cabs. They're all Marshall. There are four 4x12 four emulations. The regular 1960, which is G1275 speakers, then the Vintage 30, then the Greenbacks, then the 30 watts in the handwired. We've got two 1936s, which are 2x12 two cabs, okay. one with 75s, the other with Vintage 30s, and a 212 sounds very different to a 412. Then we've got two 12-inch speaker cabinets as well. The regular 1912 and the Vintage 1974 CX with an age 20 watt speaker in it. Okay. So if you ignore the effects, if you, ignore the, if you ignore the stump boxes, the mods, the delays and reverbs, if you just do simple math on the preamp, paramp and cabinet configurations, you've got 440 to choose from. Wow. Now, now is the modeling section the same throughout the yes, line? Yes, it is. Okay, it's it universally the same. Okay. So by describing one, I've described all. And if you add the effects in without messing with any parameters, but just as bog standard you know, vari variants, it's 1120. And if wow. you need more than that, it's called rehab, folks. You can go there. Now, this is what separates us. 
You'll see up there it says connect, control, create. Okay. This has Bluetooth built within it. Ah. And I can download an app onto my phone or my, or my iPad and it will allay, enable me to do the following. I can stream music wirelessly into this and jam along with it. Okay. I can take a section of that music and loop it and slow it down. Okay. I can tune my guitar okay. to various tunings. It's got a separate section for drop D, for example, or down a whole step, down a half step, dad, gad, yada, yada. But this is where it gets cool. I can control the amp using the phone. Every parameter, I can choose my effect, I can choose my preamp, and then I can go in and edit it. So if I'm jamming along to something, I can sit in my bed with my phone, and I can choose a different preamp with a different power amp, with a different speaker system. I don't have to get up and mess with the amp. I can name the amp there. So anything and everything I can do on the amp, I can do on my phone. Including volume, EQ? Yeah, exactly. Okay. The only thing I can't change is master volume, but okay. I can change everything. Every parameter that's editable on here, is editable via my phone and it's you can do it via one hand we use the we use the kiss method keep it simple stupid we could have made a very pretty picture that you need to be have very tiny hands to control and we'll go and show you that in a minute awesome and i see there's a uh, uh, it's foot switchable as well yes okay yeah you can foot switch it and um what else um you can plug in a regular like an, an mp3 player or headphones out which the headphones out mutes the speakers okay and the reason we've said connect control create is those are three well, number one it starts with C the same as code so it makes I can remember that and I'm an idiot <laughs> but we can connect to the amp we can control the amp and we can use our phone to be creative as well Excellent. and as humans we want that I want to connect with people but if I'm honest I then want to control them <laughs> but I want them to think I'm creative so they like me and this amp does it and you got to hear this to believe it too That's so awesome. we well, should go and do that to, next yeah let's yeah. do it before we do that, mini jubilee. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about the jubilee. Last year we launched this. This is the 2555. It was the 100 watt head we launched in 1987 to commemorate 25 years of Marshall and 50 years of Jim Marshall being in the business. Everyone loved this. We've sold extremely well with it. But everyone said, "Hey, if you could make a smaller version of that, let's say 20 watts, we'd love it because we like to play at home." So that's exactly what we did. This is the mini head and the mini combo. Now what we've done, unlike other mini amps, we've used the exact same preamp that's in there. Okay. So this isn't an approximation of the preamp, it's the same goddamn same circuit. Okay, and this is an EL34 amp. We could have made this much smaller box-wise by using EL84s or 6V6s, and they're both wonderful tubes. I've got many amps with 6V6s that I love, right. and many amps with EL84s I love, but to my ears and to most people's ears, the reason people love EL34s is they sound different. So we've put EL34s in this, so the box is slightly bigger, but it's the real McCoy. It's got man's tubes in it, the same as that one there. Not that EL84s are not man's tubes, but they're not going to sound like an EL34, and that's what we wanted. So okay. this is a 20 watt version, and if you switch the switch this way, it's 5 watts. Okay. So the police won't get called, hopefully. It's allowed 5 watts though. And it's available as a combo too, which is down here. And we've used a, a 25 watt greenback speaker in there. The reason being is 20 watts into 25, you start to push that speaker to create the magic that made it famous. And the five watts does a great job of that too. So these are both available now and we should go listen to them. Let's do it. Cool, man. All right. Hey, we're in the back sound room now, joined by David and Steven here who's playing. David's going to be running the app, and we're going to be listening to a few sound combinations just to see what the uh, modeling section of the code is able to do. How's it going, guys? Yeah, good, thank you. All, All right. good, yeah. So what are we going to hear first, Steven? Okay, so I'm plugged into the code 50, and what I'm going to do is actually show you um, a classic Marshall setting, so we're going to hear a plexi. Okay. Um, as I'm doing that, what Dave's going to do with the, uh, the software is actually show you guys some of the different cabinet emulations so you can see how dramatic the changes can be. Okay. Okay. So if we just pull out there, we're just going to change the sound from the library. As you know, there's 100 sounds in the amp, but you can edit any of those. Um, so we're on Plexi Classic at the moment. Um, the amp section is showing us the preamp is a Plexi, 
The power amp is a classic Marshall 100, so we're listening to EL34s. Okay. And the current cabinet type at the bottom is a 1960X, so we're listening to Greenbacks in a 4 by 12 unit okay. there. So as I'm playing, um, Dave's just going to go through some of the cabinets, so we'll probably hear uh, the, the Greenbacks first, okay. then a 112, 2 by 12 there may be a different type of uh, 4 by 12 with the, uh, the 75 watt speakers, and then back to where we started. Right on. All right. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> So you get the idea, pretty yeah, dramatic yeah. changes there. Right so basically you can custom voice your own amps with different types of preamp, power amp cabinet, all that kind of thing. And um, what's nice about these amps, you know, for a digital amp is the responsiveness. So if I start doing things like rolling back the volume, it actually cleans up really nicely. Okay. So we'll have a quick listen to that. Okay. Killer. So we'll go for something uh, a little different. We'll go for something non-martial. Okay. okay. So this is the uh, the American clean setting. Okay. <laughs> So you get the idea with that one. So with that particular sound, um, obviously we've got the uh, the American style amps in there, but effects-wise, um, you can see we're running a delay and a reverb. Okay, so if you want to edit any of those, it's nice and easy. You can see Dave's just clicked on delay, we can change the delay type. Okay, and also if you want to edit any of those parameters, simply slide the finger up and down to change the value. Right nice, and, nice and simple and easy to do. Um, and again, if you want a specific value, you can hold it down and actually key it in manually or even tap tempo it in the top corner. So again, real straightforward to use and intuitive. Cool. You can also do everything on the amp itself. You don't have to run the app okay. if you don't want to. The app is a free download. Um, it's uh, called Marshall Gateway. Okay. Okay. So that's uh, that's actually available now. So phone and tablet. Yes. Okay. Yeah, both. And then we'll go for some a little bit more contrast, and we'll go back to a Marshall tone. Um, so this is the sound I was using at the beginning. So it's a, a JCM 800, which is pretty cranked. Effects wise. Okay, we've got the delay and reverb active, uh, distortion pedal up front, which is based on our Marshall governor, but there are different types of overdrive in there. Okay, okay so we'll just uh, have a little listen to that. <laughs> So as you can see, the feel again, even though we're on a higher gain setting this time, I'm still getting those long sustained notes and uh, the feedback starts to creep in when I want it to and all that kind of thing. So that, in a nutshell, you know, that's Marshall, uh, the Marshall code. Nice and versatile, get any sort of sound you want, easy to use. And I'm sure you can say presets to your like. Yeah, basically um, it comes with 100 presets okay. already in the amplifier. Um, you can store and edit over any of those, you can okay. come with 100 of your own. What's really cool, if you use the gateway, um, you can have a separate library, so you can have another hundred in effect. Okay. So you can go to your friend's house who's got a code and play all your sounds okay. off your device without actually uh, messing up with his settings. Right on. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, that's the code. You've heard it. You've seen it. Where can folks go and dig a little deeper and find out even more about it? Uh, if you keep looking on the Marshall website, we're going to keep uh, uploading videos and there's going to be a lot of help as far as using the unit okay. and tuition on how to navigate and find your way around the app and things like that. And that's MarshallAmplification.com. That's okay. it. That's correct. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you. This is Rich Osweiler from PremierGuitar.com coming to you from the 2016 NAMM Show in Anaheim. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've got lots more coming your way. Thank you.